How to become a real estate agent. The process of becoming a licensed professional in the real estate industry differs from state to state and country to country. Most real estate agents and brokers are required to have a certain number of hours of pre-licensing education, and, in some cases, experience, to become fully licensed. However, it's much quicker than most careers, so why wait any longer? Let's get started. Getting qualified. Determine the general requirements for becoming a real estate agent in your state. Though there is an exam you'll have to pass that may differ in every state, the general requirements to be able to take that test are the same. There are actually just a couple basics. You must. Be at least 18 or 19 years of age. Be a U.S. citizen. Have completed your required pre-license education varies by state, usually three plus related classes, one. Consider getting your college degree. To be a real estate agent, you don't need a degree from a four-year university, keyword there being need. However, it's important to know that because degrees are becoming more and more common, it's good to have one to cover your bases. Those with degrees generally are regarded a bit higher and may see more opportunities for advancement. You can major in real estate at some schools, which starts you well on your way to becoming a broker the one who manages all the real estate agents. If you don't want to major, you could take a few classes and see if the state waives the classes it normally would require you to take. It's a good idea to have some knowledge of business, marketing, economics, and law. To succeed in the field, this is a good starting point to learn what you're going to be dealing with. Sign up for classes. Each state should have a webpage dedicated to which schools have accredited real estate programs. Most of these classes will be at the college level. You don't have to take them in any order or together, if time or money doesn't allow. Once you find a suitable school in your area, contact them. Classes should regularly be offered. You'll be handing in your transcripts at the end of these courses to apply for a license, so get good grades. The better you do, the better you'll do on the exam. While the exam is pass-fail in nature, the more confident you are in your abilities, the better you'll feel overall. You'll need to get in somewhere between 40 and 200 hours, depending on your locale. Make sure this is something you want to do. Each workday is spent making contacts with clients, prospecting, and simply getting yourself or your name in front of others. You are essentially working for yourself, which means taking care of your lead generation, your office management, and all your own advertising, education, scheduling, and paperwork. Are you looking to start your own business? That's what real estate is. Real estate provides a career that has unlimited potential for income, which means you could make a lot if you work hard, or only a little if you don't. It offers you a very flexible schedule, though often irregular hours, as well as a chance to make a difference with many people. This is not a hobby. Hobbies can be put down and picked back up whenever you feel like it. In order to stay viable in the real estate world, you have to be constantly making connections and working your butt off. Can you handle it? Set aside some cash. When you're just starting anything, it's an uphill battle. When you're just starting a job that's commission-based, it's slim pickings until you get a solid foot in the door. Because of this, it's important to have some money saved up to get you through those rainy days. Your mom told you, it takes money to make money, right? You'll mainly be taking these first few months to build up your clientele and get a feel for the market and for your niche. It's a necessary evil that every new agent goes through. 